so I'm on my way to a bear hunting spot that I had picked out. Uh, this is my first time going out this year for bears. Opening day was yesterday. I worked all day, came home just super sore. Figured by the time I get dinner, get cleaned up, it's just gonna be too late to go out. So um, today's my first day out. I got a spot picked out, but because of the recent weather Montana's been having, we've had a lot of snow. Uh, probably about nine inches at my house uh, four or five days ago. And so everything around here is pretty, pretty snowed in. I think everything up north is a little bit less and I had a few spots picked out up there, but it's just a further drive. But south and southwest, kind of where I'm at, we just got dumped by a foot in some places, nine inches at my house. So I'm not super hopeful. I think a lot of the bears might be, that have been hibernating might still be hibernating. And the ones that have been out might not be finding any food at all. So I'm not sure if they're just gonna move a lot or go right back to their den or what. So this is the most snow we've had on opening weekend that I ever remember. So it could be interesting. It was looking pretty good. About two weeks ago, it was starting to get really green and it hasn't been snowing for quite a bit before that. It actually looked like it was really good spring hunting weather and then all of a sudden we just got dumped with snow and then a week straight of below freezing temperatures. So, might be good, might be bad. So I got to the spot that I wanted to go to and it's probably not gonna work out. So I'm heading back. There's way too much snow up here to the point where there's just nowhere to pull over to even like walk out and hike or just leave the car and hike out for an entire day. There's just nowhere. Looks like someone's dumping grounds. Seems like a really good spot. I haven't seen any bears yet or any bear sign. Um, it's probably the greenest thing around, around here because it's in the wide open with all these power lines running through here. Um, the wind's not really complying. Sometimes it's blowing right out my face. Sometimes it's coming in from the side. So I might have just blown everything out of here if there was anything in here. But the grass is like about two inches tall and, and in some spots so you know this is not great but this is the best that's around here um, but it's still pretty early in the season so maybe the bears just haven't found this spot yet keep going keep trying So I'm heading out to another spot. Never been on this particular mountain. 
have been kind of in the area, but last weekend was not productive. Uh, lots of snow, bad weather. It was kind of snowing in some spots. Uh, snow was just too deep in my first priority spot. Um, this area didn't get as much snow as we did, so probably not going to be that deep. Probably going to be a lot more green, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to come across a good bear. So I'm excited to get back up on the mountain and hike. Maybe find some sheds. I found some uh, an elk and a muley shed there two years ago. It, well, in that area, not that mountain particularly, but um, it's going to be a hell of a climb. It's, it's really up there. So, well, I just left the car. Looks like a long, steep hike up. Just found some grouse, some fresh deer poop. So, it's a good spot. It means there's life here. There's food here. So, probably gonna see a bear today. It's getting pretty hot though. Looks like I just saw some elk poop. Just glassed up some bull elk. Oh, getting my ass whooped out here. It is so steep. So steep and I got uh, a little bit extra weight than I should have.
definitely a bear country, but so far all I'm seeing is elk sign. Really no sign of anything else. Can't really make it to where I want it to go because I really got to drop a lot of elevation and get up the other side so I was hoping to get up all the way up there on that face because it's probably gonna have a bear on it but I needed to climb up all the way up here to glass that and that's just not gonna work out today the wind is blowing all my scent like right that way so basically I need to turn all the way around and just hike this way. It looks like all the wind's coming through this canyon right here. So I'm going to change my plans and uh, hike back into the wind, back towards the car, but take my time, probably bump some bears or something. So, but there's lots of green grass right here. So, super promising area. It's just, the wind is not cooperating and the elevation is just too much. I got way too much weight on me today. It wasn't as cold as I expected, so I kind of overpacked. But the area is beautiful. I'm really hoping I can find a shed here today. Lots of elk tracks, some deer tracks, but mostly elk. I'm starting to head back. I haven't seen any bears, no deer, just those two bull elk that I glassed up really far away. And uh, no sheds, just oh, it's kind of dry, it's so weird. No bear poop, just an old pile from, from the fall. It's just kind of bizarre to me. The scenery is absolutely beautiful, so no regrets there. Had a really nice day out. 
Definitely a nice area for a walk. Definitely no regrets on picking the spot just for just for view's sake. So cold. So I gotta I gotta keep moving. At the very least you gotta keep the back on. There's so many good spots here for, for bears. It's just boggling to me that I haven't seen any yet. Across the creek, came out to a new spot. Sorry about the audio quality. I just lost one of the pieces to my microphone cable. One of the cables. Probably when I was crossing that creek and got stuck in the branches there. So I just left work. Uh, I've been working 10 hour days, so I don't have a lot of time, but I'm trying to put in a little bit of time, uh, some work evenings. I, I can't do all of them, but otherwise I just have to hunt weekends and I only have like four more weekends, maybe five of hunting season. And I don't know if I have enough time to make that work. So. I gotta at least go out on the week on the weekdays once in a while, once a week, twice a week, whatever I can. Maybe not too far from work, too far from home. So I'm going out to this spot. I've never seen a bear here. I have found some fall bear sign um, in the spot that I hiked, but from this spot, I'm going to glass across to the other side, which is going to be a south-facing slope. So hopefully, I can see a bear from from this particular spot and. Last year I was up there during deer season and I was looking for mule deer and elk and um, I think I think there was a bear. Maybe may have been a deer. Well deer's crossing. May have been a deer just up just above me. I never did see it, but something made a lot of noise up top that, and I, it might have been a bear. There was so much fresh bear sign that it probably would have was a bear. But uh, I'm gonna go back up to that spot where where I sat waiting for a deer to come out but I'm gonna glass across the canyon and hope to see a bear on the south facing slope. So that's the plan. It's kind of a long drive from my house, but uh, everything else is covered in snow for the most part that that I had picked out for a potential bear spot. And it's just covered in snow. And there's obviously no green grass at all. There's no grass showing whatsoever. So this spot is a little bit lower in elevation and it's crawling with deer gotta like hit the brakes every five minutes to not hit a deer lots of deer 
So that's a good sign. I mean, if the deer like it, then there's food for them, then there might be food for a bear. I don't know. It's kind of my theory. So this road is not available. I could probably get over like this snow pile right here, but if I don't, there's really no easy way out of here. And I haven't seen a single car this entire drive from the highway to here. It's about an hour. I haven't seen anyone, so I might have to stay the night here if I try to get over this and don't make it through. But even if I do, the, that's all super slick, super packed down, uh, probably not worth driving on. And there's, I mean, you're guaranteed to find another snowbank like that somewhere up that road so not great i'm gonna possibly try to make it down this way right here looks like there's more traffic down that way than than there is here so might not be great but better than sitting here and glassing this icy road so i'll at least go check that out all right so here's what the other road leads to basically the same exact thing so that's hasn't been driven on for at least four weeks maybe since our last snowstorm three weeks that one kind of kind of looks better and i know there's some houses and stuff over there but if i take that route oh that's a long way home so that's and very likely i'm going to run into more stuff like this because that road actually keeps climbing so more than likely i can't make it up that way especially past the houses so yeah looks like i gotta turn around i only have an hour and 45 minutes till sunset so i won't be able to park and hike into any of the spots that i would want to hike into that i could see on onyx i wouldn't have time to hike in so so it looks like I'll just have to head home and try another day when more stuff thaws out. This is the beauty of living in Montana. Another interesting thing though is it's 49 degrees and when I left town, uh, when I left the highway, it was about 66. So, you know, and I'm kind of hating on the snow. You know, I can't get to all of my spots or whatever and I have to hike through snow. and. It's cold and I got to have all these layers and gloves and all that. But at the same time, the alternative is it's so hot. You don't want to hike. You don't want to move. The bears don't want to move. And then you, you're you risking losing some of the meat or losing the hide because it's too hot. And the hair starts slipping. The meat starts getting ruined. So, you know, you're, you're kind of playing with fire there. Like the entire season, for me at least, the last three seasons I've been I've been bear hunting this is the third now is just trying to figure out that balance where it's too hot it's too cold it's not hot enough it's not cold enough there's too much snow there's not enough snow and playing with the layers playing with the hikes playing with the drives that's what hunting is so I just glassed up a bear uh, from the house so actually it's kind of funny I've been I've been uh, glassing up this hill for the last uh, three or four days now looking for that bear. Uh, today's April 28th and last year on April 28th, I glassed up a really big boar, uh, 2.1 miles as the crow flies. I never did get to hunt him. I ended up shooting a different bear, a uh, completely different spot. But this year I've been wanting to get up there and shoot that bear. But because we had so much snow lately, I haven't been wanting to go up there until the snow melted a little bit and got some green. So, uh, snow finally is starting to melt right now. Like, I still think it's a little little early. I was gonna give it at least a week, maybe two, before I'm gonna go up there. But April 28th last year, I found this bear up there and I figured I should just stay, stay on it, stay glassing around April 28th. So like around the 24th, 25th, I think is when I finally looked up there with the binos and uh, just saw tons of snow. Uh, but I stayed with it, you know, and today uh, I saw the sun come out and we had a little bit of rain and I, so I didn't go out today because of the bad weather, you know, I need to record and I have the microphone and cables and stuff. So I didn't go out today, but I decided to look at that mountain again because we had such good weather uh, last few hours. 
And sure enough, I spotted that bear again. Uh, I guess I can't say it's exactly the same bear, but it's a big one because I can see it two miles away from my house. And so I'm hauling ass to get up to that mountain before sunset, which is in less than two hours. And so it's probably like a five mile hike up. And so I'm gonna have to like sprint up this mountain to get over there to where I could possibly shoot him. So that's a, it's a tight task, but you know, I'm, I gotta try it because he might not be there tomorrow. It's just mind blowing to me that I actually persisted with it and stuck with it looking at that mountain and exactly a year later and found a bear in that exact same spot. So I'm really hoping this pans out. I think uh, it's just meant to be. God's just saying, that's your bear, man, go get it. I'm making my way over to that spot. It's like four miles, four or five miles maybe up to that spot. I got one mile down. Sun's setting already. I've never hiked this hard on a hunt before. I'm trying to beat the sun. That bear's right there. I'm trying to get to it before the sun sets. That's really hard to do. So, I'm gonna try it, man. I got, got another thousand feet of elevation gain. Well, heading back, can't say I didn't try. Three and a half miles in about 45 minutes. That was a fast haul up. No bear. I still would have had a ways to go, about a thousand yards from where I stopped to glass to where the last known spot that bear was at. So it still would have been a long stretch. I would not have been able to make that by sunset for sure.
but I tried. Not too many people can say they tried as hard as I do. I can't uh, go to sleep upset that I didn't try hard enough, or maybe I should have, you know, kicked myself that maybe I should have gone and tried it or whatever, because then I might never see that bear again. That's bear hunting for you. That's what it's like. That was the fastest three and a half miles of this kind of elevation I think I've ever done in my life. Just trying to cover cover ground in good time. The sun was setting. Oh my gosh. I sat there till legal shooting light and then I sat even longer till I literally could not see anymore. I just really wanted to get a glimpse of this bear. So I sat there for an extra 20 minutes after legal shooting light trying to see if I could see some kind of movement. But that didn't happen. Yes, I didn't try though. Well, I didn't see any bear sign at all. I didn't see any bear tracks in the mud and the snow. No fresh bear sign, no old bear sign. Nothing. That's just so bizarre to me. But there's a bear here. So, just because you're not seeing bear sign doesn't mean there's no bears. That's what I learned. Well, I am about uh, a mile away from the car. Snow finally stopped. Rain kind of stopped. Long hike back in the dark by myself in bear country in Montana. But this is the risk we take. Uh, I'm a man. I'm going to overcome my fears. I'm going to overcome my physical discomfort. Mental discomfort. I am hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm cold. I'm hot. I'm a little exhausted. Kind of worn out and beat from not seeing that bear again after that brutal hike. But you know, that's what we do. That's what hunting is. That's what they call hunting, not killing. If uh, filling tags was easy, everyone would do it, right? I'm uh, discovering my headlamp does not cut it. Maybe if I was out hiking with somebody else, it wouldn't be too bad. Because that, you know, that way we could kind of share some light and have you know the, the comfort of having somebody else right next to you so you don't have to see you know, all the threats and dangers around you as well if you have somebody else backing you up but on this hike I definitely learned that uh, 375 or whatever 400 lumens whatever this one is just does not cut it You've got brand new lithium batteries in this thing and I can see maybe 20 yards okay, 30 yards I can see outlines, past 30 yards I can't see jack squat, and that is not good, because if you're in grizzly country and you speak a bear at uh, 50 yards, you have about 2 seconds to react, I don't know, I'd like to be able to at least see 100 yards, so I'm, I'm probably looking at... Uh, Needing to get a brighter headlamp, probably somewhere around a thousand lumens, you know. You got to have good gear. If you're going to be a mountain hunter, if you're going to be a bear hunter in the spring, solo, 
in Montana, in grizzly country, you gotta have top of the line gear. You can't get stuck out here by yourself with stuff that's gonna break on you, stuff that's too heavy, stuff that's gonna weigh you down. Just all that, you can't, you can't afford that. I mean, it might be life and death if you got an extra 10, 15 pounds on you. It might be, that might cost you not making it back to your truck that night, you know? So save up, do your research, find deals, buy everything on sales, buy everything secondhand. But uh, whatever you gotta do, get good gear if you're gonna do any kind of hunting in Montana, especially solo, especially bear hunting, so. So that's the Black Diamond V375 Storm, I wanna say. And it's got a little red and green and blue LED light, so I have that red on full, full brightness flashing. And if I'm just hiking back solo in the dark, I just throw that on the pack and possibly forewarn um, some other people, some critters, that this is not a deer, maybe prevent a lion attack or something like that. So that's my idea behind it. Well, I'm heading back out again. Uh, I might spend an entire day out. It's 940 and I'm just heading out and I'm planning on possibly being out all day till evening if I can handle it. I don't know, the weather might change, might get kind of cold, wet. This is spring in Montana, so that's what you can expect. But today I got a mountain bike with me. I don't know if you can see in the video. But I have never tried it. I'm going to try to bike in behind the gate with all of my hunting gear. Maybe halfway or hopefully even like three quarters of the way. And then um, hike the rest of the way. And I got a trail camera I was going to set up there uh, and leave it all summer. My wife's gone horseback riding with a friend, so if I get something down, the horses are probably going to be loaded up in a trailer, and I just got to let them know, and I'm probably going to have service once I get up to the top, and she might have service where she's riding on the other side of town, and uh, I do have the Garmin in reach too, so I can communicate with her, but hopefully I get something down today, and hopefully the horses are available. I ditched the bike. It just was not working out. If it was just like perfectly flat and I had half the weight, I could probably do it. But that was not working out. My legs were burning. So, walking. I got way too much weight. Can't wait to get the trail cam out. Eat the food. And hopefully pack out a bear with horses. I really hated this part. Oh my gosh.
Oh, that little piece of shit. <sighs> I lost that uh, tripod and microphone stand and retraced my steps. How much a mule deer? Looks like five mule deer. <sighs> lost that damn thing. I thought I lost it way down, down uh, at the bottom where I was and uh, <sighs> retraced my steps. Went all the way back. Still didn't find it. I figured I, I knew I had it out that one time. So I did a whole nother circle. Went all the way back. Through that same area again. But the opposite direction. Thinking I might have I must have forgotten or lost. Lost it in a bush or something. Must have just didn't look at it hard enough. I went all the way back. To the last point I walked. Again. <laughs> And that damn thing was right here. This is where I was sitting when I first saw that there. That piece of crap. I'm exhausted. That bear kicked my ass. I think I see where I made my mistake. He was... He was right there by that by this big tree to the right but I had it marked way over there where that sunlight's hitting that those treetops not the entire ridge over somehow I made that mistake and so I started running over to that far ridge and then I uh, started running around there's a road that goes there when I got around kind of close to that ridge I looked down and saw that bear right at, right beneath me and I was just shocked how he could cover so much ground so fast but because I marked the wrong ridge and I was hiking to the wrong ridge so <sighs> sucks I'm really disappointed today was very exciting very boring and very exciting at the same time Almost was really good. That's a big cat. Maybe a wolf. Hard to tell. Pretty old. Well, I'm going for a midday drive. It's three o'clock right now. Um, I couldn't. Saturday, I had to go to court with my wife, and today we became 
official landowners in Montana. Um, and it's been kind of raining, the weather's been horrible, the wind's been bad, so I just didn't really want to go out to my other spot. I would prefer to go chase that bear that I went chasing a week ago on the mountain behind the house, but um, sadly, it just, it's gonna take me like three hours just to get to a spot I can glass. It's just so straight uphill and uh, such a long distance of hiking because it's surrounded by a private property. So I have to go like out of my way to get up there. Uh, so it'll take me like three hours just to get up to where I can glass and then probably another hour or two to go track down that bear once I do find him, if he is in that same spot that I saw him last week. Um, so basically I just don't have enough time. It's already three o'clock right now. So I figured I'll go for a drive. I'm not too excited about driving through that, so I'm thinking about just turning around and driving back the way I came, which is a really long ways. So it's going to take me a long time to make it back that way, but I know that I can make it that way. I don't think I can make this. Uh, I'm getting pretty high up there, so that's what you got to deal with in Montana. In May. Pretty crazy. But I'm not about to get stuck way the hell out here by myself. So, turning around. Well, I'm calling it a day, driving home, trying to get some dinner. Uh, I didn't see any bears, didn't see any bear sign. I didn't really hike or anything. Uh, for the most part, this was just like a scouting drive. And I found what's green, what's not green, where the snow's still at, where the, what elevation I'm at, you know, if there's any kind of uh, green grass or any kind of flowers or anything like that, so. Basically, I found a lot of stuff that uh, is not bear country right now and might never be because, you know, if it's already halfway through season and a lot of that is still really dry and really brown. And uh, other spots I've been to are very green and have yellow flowers, fully bloomed already, lots of grass, no snow. So basically, I found it. A whole bunch of spots today that I shouldn't go hunting. All right, going hunting again, of course. Uh, staying with it, hopefully gonna see something today. Uh, today I'm meeting up with a guy named Justin. We've never met before, but uh, he lives in the same town as I do, and we've just kind of got to know each other over social media. And he's been hunting this particular area for bears, and I've been hunting it two weeks ago. And so today we're going to try to combine our efforts and get one of us, or maybe both of us, a bear, hopefully, and uh, have some fun. Well, I got to the hunting spot. It's like super sunny and raining at the same time. And uh, <laughs> opened the trunk and <laughs> a bottle of fuel system, like valve cleaner, just spilled 
all over the back of my Jeep, all over everything I had in there. Luckily, all my hunting gear was in the back seat, so I could finish my hunt for the day. Well, we found the bear again, right exactly where he was last time I saw him, a week ago. He's just standing there waiting to get shot. He's probably not a monster, but I'd be happy with him. Imagine shooting at this distance into their lungs and heart. The freaking guy that Justin's hiking with today can do that. He's done it. That's insane. That spot must be really good. Alright, honey, talk to me. We just glassed up that one there again. It's at 1,250 yards and again. And we're just swirling, kind of falling apart, but I'm going to go out and try to shoot it. set up right now and I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff with the wife and go uh, try to go ultra light and head over there and blast it. He's walking down the road and the bear is hopefully still right, oh, right there, right, right there. So he's going to walk down that road and hopefully he'll be able to see the bear before the bear can see him. Right now the wind is just right, blowing towards Igor. Looks like Igor's going really slow. Probably trying to figure out where the bear went. That already already has eyes on the bear. He 
scrounging down on our book. Nice if I had binoculars. So there's Igor right there below that top branch. I think he's sitting on a rock trying to glass up the bear. The bear is hopefully still over here. So it looks like Igor could potentially possibly have a shot line up on the bear. He's right there. Looks like he's propped up on a rock. And the bear is over here, so he might just have a perfect, perfect little opening and straight over to the bear. Let's wait and see if he squeezes off a shot. I just spotted Igor again. Um, now he's around a tree. Oh, I can see him. So, Igor was there. Now he's on this road up here. And the bear is over here on that point. So he's getting pretty dang close to where the bear was. <sighs> Igor must have gotten behind some trees now, but hopefully that bear is still there. There he is. Must not have eyes on him if he's moving that quickly. Alright, so I just heard Igor shoot. Last I saw him, he was on that road. And the bear was right there last I saw him. I can't see either of them. Hopefully it was a kill shot. I only heard one shot so far. That was a couple minutes, a couple minutes ago. Fingers crossed. It's a kill shot. Oh my gosh, I just shot the bear. Honey. Did you hear the gunshot? Yeah. He's dead. Oh my gosh. I can't see either of you. I'm standing next to him right now. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, honey. Are you on the point? Yeah, you see me? I'm waving the rifle. Are you next to the um, Maybe old I'll... brush pile? Uh... Yeah, it's kind of like big logs that are used to, that are burned. Yeah, I'm gonna get out on top of that brush pile. I'm gonna wave my coat around so you can see the orange. Yeah, one second. He's not a very big bear. Oh, I see you. I see you. I shot him at like, oh, what was it, 40 yards? Yeah. It was either a 400 yard shot or a 40 yard shot. I did not want to try 400 in this wind. 
Yeah. What? I can't hear you. Hello? One second. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. So are you standing right next to him? Yeah, I'm standing right next to him. Okay, so then he didn't move at all the whole time. No, he did not. He was just circling. I mean, there's like flowers and stuff, but I do not see what's good about this spot <laughs> compared to everything else I just walked. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Well, I just made a video after I heard your shot. Awesome. I've been, I've been videoing you walking down the roads and trying to video where I thought he was, which I was right the whole time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a rush. Just to, to see a bear at uh, 30, 30 yards, you know, that's a... Uh, oof, I'm shaking. Did he, did he see you at all? I don't think so. Wow. Even with all the orange I'm wearing and stuff, I don't think so. He's a he's a tiny little guy. Is he smaller than your other ones? No, he's bigger. Oh, okay. Um Yeah, I don't know how the hell to get him out of here now. We're I could probably throw him on my back and get him like all the way to where I left you. Um well, I can go get the horses, and I can start making my, making my way to you. Yeah. Uh, do you you have Onyx in their service, so that's good. So uh, you can see like the roads and stuff. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna try to make start making my way back over there. Position you. Okay. Whew. Um and. Uh, I'm gonna go get the horses, so at least I can meet you back here. Okay. Dang, I could see the horses from here. That is one hell of a amount to walk that I just did. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we can get, I don't know, get the bear on one of the horses. Yeah. I can walk all the way back. It's downhill, so it's not a problem. All right, well, okay, so do you want me to just wait here for you or go get the horses? Um... Probably go get the horses and meet me like wherever, like halfway somewhere. Okay. Because I'm sure this guy's gonna, like, I could throw, I could probably throw most of it on my pack. I haven't tried yet. Like, I just kicked him. I haven't tried holding him or anything. <laughs> I'm gonna try to set up a camera and get some I videos and stuff in the meantime. Okay. Are you gonna probably try to like, back up this hill that you just walked down? Um, there's, there's some road systems that connect all the way up to where you are. So I'm probably not gonna try scrambling all the way up that. Okay. Yeah. All right, honey. Okay, I'll take all of the stuff that you left and start walking back to the horses. Good job, honey. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Well, this is where she died. In this hell of a canyon. And I snuck up above her right there on the upper road. Shot her about 40 yards. She never saw me. Ran over here and died. Oh, beautiful animals. Finally got to my bear. Oh my gosh, it's been uh, a lot of miles for this one. Uh, I came up on her, found out it was a she. Beautiful black with, with brown, white chest patch. Oh, beautiful bear. Shot her right behind the armpit. Oh, such 
beautiful creatures. I had to work for this one, that's for sure. Well, my spring bear hunting is done. I gotta get my tags out. My wife's got the horses on the way. Way up there on the ridge top somewhere. Oh, wow. Wife and I rode the horses up this mountain this morning. Got up to the top, sat down for lunch and barely got lunch unpacked and I saw a dot right here saw a dot and uh, I knew that dot wasn't there five minutes before so got the binos up sure enough it was a bear and sure enough it was exactly the same spot it was at last week and I was uh, sneaking up from there last week this time I ended up uh, dropping down and walking the road this old logging road that doesn't hasn't been used in decades Beautiful color. I knew I knew I thought it was a he, but I knew it had a had some brown going on. Every time the it, it would turn, I just saw like a flash of brown, and sure enough, the legs are just really, really black. And then she's got these brown uh, brown inner hairs patches almost. Got really really black legs and a really black face uh, or the top of the head until the, the face. Then she gets blonde around the mouth and and uh, her whole she's kind of thinning out up here for whatever reason yeah beautiful bear though uh, now the hard part begins I got to get her way the hell up the top of that mountain and down the other side about as much and then some to the car so I really hope the horses are coming Thankfully, we already got them, so it wasn't like last week where, where I would have had to wait for, you know, three hours probably. Here's my tag. I gotta fill that out. Don't forget, guys. You know, you can get uh, in the heat of the moment. It's all exciting, and you want to go, and you gotta get the meat done, and all that. But. Now this is the Benchmade Saddle Mountain Skinner, except this uh, Kydex uh, sheath right here is something that I made myself because the one that came in, in the leather uh, sheath that, it, that came with the knife um, ended up wearing out. It wasn't actually Kydex, it was kind of like some super cheap thin plastic. So it wore out, so I just decided to make my own. I am about five and a half miles from the truck, so I'm not <laughs> I'm not too excited about how long of a hike we have back, and it's not flat. It's it's way the hell up the mountain and then way over to the other side. So if we we can't circle around because there's private property there, going around this way is going to be even longer. So Pretty much have to go straight that way, not hit any of the private property, go up that mountain, and then down the other side. Yeah, I'm not uh, super excited about it, but uh, tags filled. I'm excited about that. Whatever it takes, we'll get this thing home. We'll make it happen. You know, that's what we that's what we do. We're hunters. We uh, this is all part of the plan that you get ready for getting these kind of critters out of here especially by yourself. Thankfully today I'm not by myself. It's like, uh, what, two miles to the knob that I saw him on from, from where I live, glassed him up. So two miles from that. So I was prepared to shoot him on there, but this is, you know, when I saw him last week here, I was like, man, I'm, I'm in some deep, 
stuff if I shoot him over here because that's five and a half miles of hauling this guy up the mountain and down the other side. So, but that's what we do. This is what we like. This is what we enjoy. This is what we sign up for. There's my tag filled out. There's a dead bear. Easy. Good boy. Alright, just got game bags on this bear. These are like quarter sized deer game bags. So we're not quartering it out. We're just going to take it out whole. The guts are laying right there. But uh, lesson learned, don't buy Walmart quality game bags. Everything is ripped. All the stitching is coming apart. The strings all ripped off. So you get what you pay for. But they're going to have to do for today. I'm going to throw this on one of the horses and get it up and over that mountain and back to the truck. We have about five and a half miles to go. I'll throw it over and you get to get on the other side. Okay. Hey, buddy. Swing uh, it. Get your back up against Kenine and then swing it around towards his butt. Uh, everything's falling apart. Hey, buddy. Get your back up against Kenine. Easy. Sniff it. This works pretty good. Okay, just pick it up with me, just right here. Just grab her legs. Just grab her back, back, back legs. Not then, okay. Um, we can 
We'll Thank set you. it all up and put it in game bags. And I'll if you, some of my pack. If you want to leave it here overnight, we can come back with a pack horse tomorrow. Yeah. Or that. How they do it. That's what it's made for. The horses are like, dude, you're out of your mind. Well, we finally made our way up most of the mountain. I could not carry that entire bear on my back and neither of the horses would take him. So we decided to leave him in the bushes, come back for him later tomorrow for her. But this is what the country looks like. We possibly could have tried quartering out that bear and uh, putting the quarters on the horses maybe or carrying a quarter each or something like that but we would have been here till dark and uh, I was kind of shooting for getting to work tomorrow but that might not happen. Either way, tag's filled, tag's on the bear right now and we'll come back for it. Baby, we couldn't have picked a better day to do this.
Well, we're making good time. Making it down the mountain before sunset. Let's see what time is it? 30 sunsets in about 15 minutes. So we'll still have another half hour of light after that. So we're doing pretty good on time. I just don't want to be out in the pitch black with the horses. So we're doing pretty good. Okay, it's already like 9.15. We're slowly but surely making our way back to the truck. It's uh, not dark yet. It's getting there, definitely past sunset. But we came back, we're, we're coming back in perfect time. Didn't really wanna do this in the dark. So I'm excited just to get home and get some high calorie food in my stomach after how many possibly thousands of calories I burned today. Thank you. 